Welcome back YouTube. Here is the long awaited hook lift build and review. So this is a 20 or yeah 20. This is a 2006 F650. Uh, I purchased this originally back in January um, from a guy down in Connecticut. Um, obviously I'm from Northeast uh, upstate New York but as you get towards like the coastal area like Connecticut um, mass maine you know they tend to get lighter lighter winters and uh the salt and rust isn't usually as bad so this thing is in pretty good shape for a, a 2006 and being you know 17 years old which is you know why um you know i've had people when i go to the dump you know they see the fender which you can see on camera is, is one of the issues that i never fix with it but they'll see that and go oh man Oh, what happened? You you know, you just got that truck, you know, not too long ago. What happened? And it's like, dude, this is a 2006. And they look at me in, in disbelief because, um, it, you know, it looks very clean and, and newer than really what it is. So this truck we purchased, it used to be for a um, landscaping slash tree service company. So they used it. It came with a chip body. I'll post that picture now, kind of what it looked like when I got it. And uh, some of the other pictures of of what the truck looked like when I got it and uh, just kind of kind of briefly walk through the work that I've done what it looked like originally and, and what it looks like now so let's start out the front and we'll work our way back obvious right at its strobes very similar to my trailer setup literally the same exact strobes just different locations so you got the the one up top which is configurable I, I kind of like more of like the the running um, light there and then the strobes in the front also did billet grill so this this was an add-on um, and then to kind of go with my cow theme we have the steer horns which are, are mounted in there um, you know again fender or the bumper here if you can see it has some scratches and then this fender you know some rust where you know they obviously hit something and this fender um, same things messed up a little bit my goal so there's no cow print on the front um, and just you know you can see this is my pad for my garage but uh, that hasn't is going up this week but um, the fenders you know when I bought this in January it was cold it had snow you can't do fiberglass and Bondo when it's it's below freezing I mean you really can't do it when it's 50 60 degrees so until of recent I really didn't have an opportunity to even work on this stuff but my thought originally was going to be I was going to you know fiberglass repair the back and in this part rebondo it sand it and then literally cow print over it so that way i didn't have to be like a um perfectionist body work person you know if i got it halfway decent you know 90 percent better than what it is now i could put it, the decal over it and you would never really see it um but obviously haven't had a chance so um we did Wheel simulators, those were about 600 bucks. Really changed the look of the truck and I, I kind of love it. Um, we also had to replace the windshield wipers, windshield wiper motor, um, under the hood, the engine uh, air filter, air filter cover, um, you know, full oil change, fuel filter change. Um, and then as we walk around here, we you know lettered obviously lettered it and then you'll see kind of the the gantry tower for the tarp so we added a tarp system um this is uh, apache this was actually through united tarp and it has their american flag tarp which is nice um wasn't too happy it took almost two months to get this from them basically to weld up that gantry piece which i could have just had somebody do it myself in a day um so overall i wasn't happy the instructions didn't come with it the see if I can get it in the picture it's a little dirty but in the front corner here and on the other corner it was all scuffed and scratched up from shipping 
So for, you know, it was about $3,000, um, but it just took way longer than it should have. Um, they never responded to me, calls, emails, you know, it, they'd say they'd give me something like the instructions and then a week later I never got it. So long story short, I wouldn't really recommend them. The tarps look good, but I, you know, so far holding up okay, but the customer service was just very poor. And I don't know, maybe they should just stick with the tarps and not the actual tarp systems was the problem. Um, on the side here, I added a tractor supply uh, box. Oh, and before I do that, so here's the hook. This was one of my retrofitted cans and I've been so busy, again, didn't have time to paint it um, since it's been back um, so it doesn't rust. But this is a 36 inch multi-lift hook system. This is an older system, it's probably 10, 15 years old at least. And you can kind of see the, the valve system here. Um, hold on, geez. There we go. Kind of see the valve system here. Um, you know, some of it's been replaced. You can see the blue ones. Those are new, new valves. Um, yeah, it's just water. Rained here recently. Um, in here, I keep some boards that I made up. Wheel chalks, tarp, or straps. Uh, all you know, bungees, blocks, four by four blocks. Everything you kind of would need. Um, right right in there um i never added a board section to this yet um for full length boards i was maybe going to go over the fender and across but i haven't got around to it i have shorter boards that they've been working out okay but they do tend to scuff the driveways up a little more than i'd like so um probably look to change that so tail lights are replaced these are smoked um dot approved tail lights i also added the dot tape on the back and then also on the sides there um, this does have a hitch with a seven way never used it hopefully it works but uh, the problem with this setup um, it's 26,000 gvw so just under the cdl limit or add it so as soon as you connect anything i i don't remember the law it's but it's very light like four or five thousand pound trailer or maybe even lighter than that 3500 um anything larger than that then you would need um technically class a or class b with a trailer endorsement um so it really i didn't really have a use to to connect it but it is a nice feature to have and then as we come around the other side so i also painted the the rollers here that that the you know the dumpsters sit on orange so they're kind of high vis match my color scheme and but it is good for you know safety visibility same with the hook as well um come over here so there was a fuel tank when i bought it you know and again you gotta be careful when you buy things online um you know the guy said it had some electrical issues was really the only thing he mentioned um we ended up having to replace the fuel tank that's a brand new fuel tank because once I got home and it sat for a day, once you filled it up above like a quarter, it leaked. And on the back side, you couldn't see it, you know, on the front, but on the back, it had really bad rust and, you know, would leak, you know, not, not a ton, but enough to leave, you know, a good amount, you know, a cup full on the ground when you parked it overnight. So it's not something I really wanted to deal with. So we replaced, replaced that right away. And then um new front tires to pass inspection we replaced those and yeah that's about it for the outside all right so as we open it up put new cat floor mats in the interior on this i'll post a picture was pretty much destroyed so these are seats out of a 2021 f350 i think they're the the vinyl leather seats um had to customize it a bit but you know brand new put them in here here's the controls for the the hook um which it's on a little wire you could actually i think bring it right out the door if you wanted to operate it outside i don't see why you wouldn't uh, or w why you would want to and then interior um i added this touch screen kind of a cheap chinese one um to get gps up on the screen and then that button that's kind of sticking out is the pto button um 
for some reason the the switches are a little bit bigger than the standard size slots on this so uh, they sometimes pop out like that one i just didn't stick it in but so um, inside i mean headliners a little dirty um the tree company i mean when i bought this there was literally tree chips and stuff all over there was stains everywhere um you know the the truck was very very dirty um so we cleaned it up it came out pretty good the only thing i couldn't find was like a replacement boot uh for the emergency brake um everything else you know with the seats as soon as i put them in changed the look so we got safety triangles the fire extinguisher everything you need for dot medical kit all all in here um and then if i get in um the abs light is on i no idea why but she fires right up purrs like a kitten um there's the display. Heat works, blows cold AC because it was 90 last week and I had that thing cranked and uh, worked pretty good. Overall, it saved me a lot of time versus the trailer. Um, just ease of use and another video you can watch following this. I had a video kind of uh, picking up uh, a dumpster from uh, with my trailer system and I'm going to post or repost a, a, a new one using the hook lift to just show people really the difference in time. And um, going to a, a larger truck, a hook lift truck, you know, that's really the main benefit is, is just time. It's easier to maneuver. It's easier to drive. Um, and just time savings, picking up and dropping off cans. You know, if you're, if you're moving uh, all day long cans, you know, three, four, five, you know, it, it will quickly pay for itself in the time savings because you're going to be shaving you know 30 minutes to an hour off every single day uh, versus using the typical you know gooseneck trailer bumper bumper pull trailer with the cable system like i had before with the bison trailer i mean i like the trailer it did its job and allowed me to get to, to where i was today but it's definitely a game changer by by switching out um this stuff and uh just show you Quickly, I gotta roll this can off, so I'll show you that. And then uh, if you have any questions, comments, post them below, happy to help, happy to answer. So uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you.